So somebody wants to know about blind sight, which is kind of a little bit of an oxymoron, right? How can you be sight and blind? Blind means you have no sight. But it's really actually a very good description of what the patient has. They are blind because they have no conscious awareness of their vision. But they have sight because they have unconscious awareness of their vision. Of course, that statement by itself has tremendous implications, psychological, spiritual, perhaps even religious and metaphysical. Your conscious brain can see without ever seeing anything. That's weird. And the reason you have this blind sight is probably there's some evolutionary reason for having your brainstem be able to see the light. So when the light comes in, it hits the optic nerve, crosses in the chiasm, and the visible part to you is carried on the radiations from the geniculate body to the occipital lobe. Once it hits this occipital lobe, as long as the occipital lobe and the visual association cortex are awake and alert and alive, you'll see whatever the light hit your retina. However, there's this pathway, as you know, which is the pupil pathway. And so we have a pretectal nuclei that supplies the pupillary fiber to the Ettinger Westphal nucleus and the carried on the third nerve to the ciliary ganglion and the postganglionic nerve. This is the pupillary light reflex. This pathway is completely unconscious. So you don't need any conscious awareness when I shine the light in your eye to constrict your pupil and it'll affect constrict the other people. In fact, you can be in coma and we still can detect your pupillary response because it doesn't require any cortex or conscious awareness. However, that input at the level of the superior colliculus probably is being interpreted as sight. It's just not reaching conscious levels. And so this type of light is probably providing very important information for your sleep-wake cycle and probably talking to your pineal gland. And there are many cultures that believe in this third eye. And they might put it right here, or they wear it around their neck. This third eye has sight that you can't see. Blind sight. And we can test this on patients who are occipitally blind, cortically blind. They'll say, I'm blind. You say, well, just guess how many fingers I have. How, ma how many fingers? You're crazy. How ca I don't see any. No, no, just guess. And if they allow the people to guess, they guess more statistically correct than would be by chance alone. This is how the blind sight was discovered. Patients who are really legitimately blind can see even without conscious awareness of that sight. And probably it's mediated here at the brainstem input, superior colliculus, or perhaps at the pineal gland, a proverbial third eye. And that's blind sight.